Hey, welcome back to Bear Squared. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can rehearse your PowerPoints using the iPad. So let's go ahead and jump into a PowerPoint. Remember Microsoft's um, suite is a subscription suite. This is a PowerPoint that I've opened up. Now the benefit of doing this is the presenter coach evaluates your pacing, your pitch, okay, use of filler words. Uh, informal speech, euphemisms, when you're trying to make something sound, uh, you know, indirect or less, um, worse than it is. And then cultural sensitive terms, as well as it will detect whether you're being overly wordy or you're just simply reading the, the presentation. So let's go ahead. If you go to um, open up your presentation and then you go to slideshow, under slideshow, you have this rehearse with coach. We're going to go ahead and click on that rehearse with coach. And then this is going to allow us now, so it says here, Rehearse with presenter coach preview, get instant feedback. This is basically the latest update that got released this week. Okay, 2021, January 2021 for the iPad. So go ahead and check it out. Uh, let's start rehearsing. Yes, we're going to allow the mic. Okay, it says start talking and we'll give you feedback. Consider the following graph showing the value uh, of a 15,000 car after it says avoid reading the slides, focus on stating your key points. So it's told us, look, okay, let's start using some filler words and see if it picks it up. Um, guys, what um, what I want you to do here, yeah, you see that? It says use fewer filler words like um, okay, now, pardon my French, but I'm going to use some profanity here and it should pick this up, okay. You see this presentation is a bit of a presentation. Uh, the, the relationship is <laughs> It might be culturally insensitive. Okay, in some cases, look at this word. It says, look, it might be culturally insensitive in some cases. So profanity picks it up as culturally insensitive. Okay, that's brilliant, isn't it? So you, while, while you're rehearsing, you something might slip out and it will tell you that. Let's press play here again. So it starts picking up what we're saying. There's a lot of data here. I'm going to keep on talking to see if that's, this is going to pick up that I'm being overly wordy, constantly just talking. The pace is really fast as well. I'm talking really incredibly fast. Here we go. It says, slow down a bit. You're too fast. Okay. So it's given us all of these indications, okay, as to how we can improve our presentation. So why don't we stop this now? And what we'll see is we'll see, we'll end the session. So are you sure you want, you wish to end the session? Yeah, we're going to end the session here. And it generates a report for us. Look at this. It's going to generate a report. Okay, this is brilliant. So in summary, good job rehearsing. Keep up the hard work. It gives you a motivational speech. Remember, this is this is AI. This is artificial intelligence. This is just picking up, you know, your speech from what you've said. And it's, uh, it's given us some ideas here. So total time spent, 3 minutes and 47 seconds. In fact, we paused it a few times. We went over 12 slides. Originality report here. And it says, try to avoid simply reading the slide. Here are the slides that you might want to work on. So it gives you the slide where you are just purely just reading off. Sensitive phrases, okay? Consider avoiding these terms or phrases which might offend some people. So we said something here, we use some profanity. And then avoid using this word here as well. Okay, the pace, the words were 138 words per minute. This is the overall, you know, average pace that you, you, you're doing here. Your average pace over time. Okay, your pitch as well. Look, pitch variation will make your audience lose interest try increasing the tone uh, of your key points and filler words to sound more polished and confident uh, try to avoid using filler words such as um let's see guys uh the next one you know stuff like that we can click on any one of these to learn more so let's just click on the originality report let's see what it says here we'll go to the website support.microsoft.com and it will give us some suggestions okay so here, look, you've got some more information here now. Research indicates that when a presenter repeats extended statements from the slide, audience members tend to lose interest. Okay, and it gives us some ideas and recommendations. You've got recommendations for pitch. You've got recommendations for speech refinement. This is fantastic, man. This is really, really good. If I go back to our presentation, I can go ahead and rehearse again. Okay, so it starts in the sessions one, two, three. We're going to start rehearsing. Chapter four. Stats and probability. What we're going to cover in this presentation is sampling, mean, median, mode. These are statistical tools that we're going to be using in order to go over some stats and probability. So you see, when you polish your report after rehearsing a few times, you won't get any um, error feedbacks. Let's go ahead and stop that. Of course, it's going to end the session and it will give us uh, our 
report again okay so we can work on improving our pace we can work on improving our our pitch and compare your rehearsals then you'll know that you're improving it this is look i'm gonna go back to where's my camera this is a fantastic tool for both teachers instructors students okay high school students middle you know college university students to go ahead and improve you know their confidence you know if you haven't got someone there to help you then these typical points here you know your originality rapport the filler words the pace the pitch all of these will instruct you to improve the truth is this has been around on desktop for quite a few number of years i think about at least three three years or three four years has been out now it's been updated to the ipad so if you do have access to microsoft powerpoint okay on your ipad download the application this would actually really work well on because a lot of us are still doing blended learning and we're still presenting online so it will brush up and polish up your online you know communication and collaborative skills online so give it a go as always uh consider subscribing turn on notifications if you're interested in you know polishing your ed tech skills you can upskilling your um technology skills and as always i'll see you in the next one